Everything is quiet. You only hear static. Just the endless noise of the cosmos. But then, out of nowhere, something breaks through. On August 15th, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope picked up something no one expected. A signal that lasted for just 72 seconds. It was a noise. It wasn't a glitch. It was strong. Pure. Exactly on the frequency scientists considered most likely for extraterrestrial communication. It came from deep space emitted on a frequency nicknamed the waterhole. This part of the spectrum is quiet. Almost nothing in space naturally produces emissions there. That's why it was considered the perfect channel for civilizations to send signals. The wow signal was 30 times stronger than the normal background noise. On the printout, it appeared almost like an explosion. It was sharp, thin, and free of background interference. Natural phenomena usually create broad, messy emissions. This signal was focused on a very thin frequency band, typical for synthetic signals. Astronomer Jerry Amon circled it on the printout in red and wrote one word. Wow. In the entire history of listening to the stars, nothing before or since has looked so much like a deliberate hello. No natural source fits perfectly. No explanation. To this day, it remains the most alien-like signal humanity has ever recorded. For decades, scientists have been listening. Radio telescopes scan the sky, tuned to frequencies where the universe itself is quiet. Because if a signal comes, this is where it will stand out. Most of the time, it's static. The constant background of the universe. But sometimes, something appears that doesn't belong. The wow signal was one of them. 72 seconds of emission, then silence. Never again. Theories range from natural causes to the extraordinary. Some say it was a passing comet releasing hydrogen. Others think it was interference from Earth. But those explanations never fully fit. The frequency was narrow, clean. Exactly the kind of signal the search for extraterrestrial intelligence expected to hear if someone was trying to talk. It looked intentional. Even if it was intentional, even if it came from another civilization, what we heard was not a conversation. It was an echo. Radio waves travel at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second. But space is vast. A signal could take thousands even millions of years to reach us. And in that time, entire civilizations rise and collapse. By the time we hear them, they're already gone. We're listening to ghosts. Imagine this. A civilization is 200,000 light years away. Let's be optimistic and say they survive 100,000 years an almost impossible feat for any species we know. That means we would be receiving the signal after an entire civilization rose and fell. Our answer would be sent to an empty, dead planet, where for maybe hundreds of thousands of years, no life existed anymore. We couldn't even exchange one message. We would send the simplest message back. Hello. And by the time the reply arrives, 
they're already extinct. Civilizations do not live that long. Even if a civilization lives for, let's say, 500,000 years, and we do too, we could only exchange one single message. So when we listen, what we will hear are not conversations. We hear their echoes. We hear ghosts. And as we listen, we're also transmitting. For over a century, Earth has been leaking radio and television into space. The first broadcasts, sporting events, political speeches, music are already 50, 60, 70 light years away, drifting outward. To us, they're history. Now there, they're brand new. One day, maybe, someone will hear Hitler opening the 1936 Olympics, or Louis Armstrong playing the trumpet, or a sitcom laugh track echoing across the stars. But by then, what will Earth look like? Will we still be here to answer? Probably not. We will be dead by then for many thousands of years. Even our ruins may have disappeared. No traces of humanity left. And then, perhaps, far in the future, we would receive their signal. The universe is too big for dialogue. By the time a message crosses the void, the sender may already be gone. What remains are fragments, signals without context. The wow signal might be exactly that, the last trace of a civilization we will never meet. Right now, their planet maybe still orbits their sun as usual, but there's no sign of any life left. A world where life never seemed to exist, and still, their signal would still be traveling. Maybe the wow signal was nothing more than interference. Or maybe it was the one time in human history that a signal broke through to us. We'll never know. The universe may be filled with signals waiting to be picked up by us. Yet by the time we hear them, they're already long gone. Not neighbors, not conversations, just echoes.